హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ భూమి వరల్డ్ హోప్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఈజ్ డూయింగ్ గ్రేట్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ అండ్ వాచ్ మై లాస్ట్ వీడియోస్ ప్లీజ్ గో అండ్ చెక్ ఇట్ అవుట్ నౌ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్స్ అండ్ ఆటమ్ టాపిక్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ విల్ లుక్ ఇన్ టు ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ ఎక్సెట్రా సో ఫస్ట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ ఎన్విరాన్మెంట్ ఈజ్ ఏ వర్క్ స్పేస్ దట్ యూజర్స్ క్రియేట్ అండ్ యూజ్ ఫర్ టెస్టింగ్ ఆర్ ప్రొడక్షన్ పర్పస్ yeah let me explain clearly nowadays many applications offer the ability for users to manage production and sandbox accounts right for each account we need to create one workspace to test any integration with specific credentials so we need to create two environments test environment and production environment now we can look into how to create environment to create environment we need to switch into atom management page in atom management page we can manage both environments and atoms first we'll create one environment for that click on plus new button once you click on new button one drop down appear under the drop down you can see atom and environment if you want to create any environment you need to click on environment or if you want to create any atom you need to click on atom so now i want to create one environment right so i'm clicking on environment once you click on environment one pop up window will appear here here you need to enter environment name however you want and then you need to specify classification whether it's a test or production now i'm going to create one test environment and then production environment for test environment i'm entering my name as test underscore environment and i am selecting classification as test after that i am clicking on save button yeah one environment got created now i am again creating one more environment for production i am entering name as prod underscore environment and environment classification as production and clicking on save button so now i have created two environments one for test environment and then one for production so this is how we need to create environments if you click on any environment you can see all information about that particular environment here so this is the environment id for each and every environment there will be a one unique id so this is unique id for this particular environment and then classification whether it is a test environment or production environment after that we can see configuration details roles with access suppose you are working in any organization all team members will have access to bumi platform and based on their work or purpose manager or team lead will limit the bumi platform usage with this roles so like administrator role standard role developer etc we can talk later about this roles by default all users will have access to this environment until unless you can select any role here if you select any role from here only that particular access role members only have access to this environment after that we have attachments here we need to attach atoms for this particular environment with this atom we can test our build process and next we have environment extensions button once we build any integration we can talk about this and next we have delete environment button if you want to delete any environment you can click on this delete environment button so that the environment will delete yeah this is about environment now we can talk about atom first we'll see what is atom atom is a lightweight runtime engine once we complete the build part we need to test that integration right to check whether the integration is working or not with this atom we can test our build process once you deploy the integration into atom it contains all information includes processes connectors profiles etc we can talk all this later one by one in our coming videos and next types of atoms 
in bhumi atoms are classified into two types local atoms and then cloud atoms first we'll look into local atom what is local atom when you want to deal with any local servers like disk database or ftp sftp database we can use local atoms which means when you are getting or sending data to any local servers that time we'll use local atoms and next what is cloud atoms when you want to deal with any browser based applications like amazon salesforce google we can use cloud atoms which means when you are getting or sending data to any browser based applications that time the cloud atoms will come into the picture now what is the difference between local atom and then cloud atom so the first difference is we already discussed Uh, if you want to work with any local servers we need to use local atoms if you want to work with any browser based applications we we need to use cloud atoms so local atoms are stored on only one system and then it is available for only that particular system so cloud atom is a high availability resource that can be utilized on multiple platform accounts and then local atoms does not support any high volume of data which means if you are working with any high volume of data uh, if you use any local atom then there may be a chances to crash the data and coming to cloud atom cloud atoms will support high volume of data so when you are working with any large number of data it's better to go with the cloud atoms yeah these are the main differences between the local atom and then cloud atom in most of the interviews you will get this question so be prepared for that in our next video we can discuss about atom setup yeah that's it for today's video we can continue with our next session hope you all understand the today's topic if you have any doubts or suggestions on this video let me know on comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the new video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye